I fell asleep in the back of Larry's car on the way um, after my birthday, on the way back from Rebecca's, uh -huh. and my hair was parted in the middle. <laughs> And show them, take a picture of me, and then they both take a picture where they're just like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, your hair does look a little goofy when it does it that. It looks so <laughs> stupid when it's like that. Camera's rolling, sound is rolling. Yeah, yeah. Let's just throw all this in there, like I did on the last one. I don't need to clap. You guys already did it. <laughs> <sighs> wow, what a morning it's been. Ah. Nan, do you want to start us off? I thought Mickey was. I, I can, thought you I were. can do it. Okay, oh. you can do it. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for I'm Peking, episode 10. Uh, we're your hosts. I'm Nand. I am Bren. I'm Mickey. Devin here. At Double this digits. point, what was it? At what? this point, it's like episode 10. Wow. Wow. You know what's funny is like, oh, and Happy New Year! Yeah, oh, Happy New Year! It's literally New Year's today. It's a New Year's trying today. Trying to get to it. Uh, well, you gotta, you get, man, you gotta jump on that shit, man. Wait, like I'm today's New Year's, man. Like, I just yeah. don't, I don't want to cut people off like that. I'm just, I'm trying to be respectful. I want to talk about Fair how like enough. Christmas was probably a few days ago for them. Oh yeah, Merry <laughs> Christmas for that, and like New Year's is like right around the corner. No, yeah, we're in Christmas sweaters. sweaters. Well, yeah, because at at the time of this recording, right? At the time of this recording. Christmas, Christmas is ahead of us right now, but yes. by the time yeah. they see this, it's behind us. We're so. time traveling. Time traveling. Like I, said, like, like I said, like Christmas was probably a few days ago for you, so yeah, exactly five or like days a, ago, six days, like ago. a week ago. Yeah, like a week ago. Merry Christmas. I hope. About I hope everyone ago, got to go home <laughs> and have a good time. Yeah, you know? we literally got ugly sweaters <laughs> just for this episode. Yeah, so. fifty five dollars. That's all I have to say. Hey, but it's sick it's though. It's excision. Hey, yeah, but it is sick though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that you're gonna wear that every Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, she, you could even wear that at like cold festivals if you really wanted to. <gasps> yeah, smart man. Very nice. Mickey, you want to tell us what's on your okay. ugly sweater? So this is Devin's. <laughs> this is Devin's sweater, but it's 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 Drake in this hotline bling era. <clears throat> Whoa. AKA the uh, number one billboard yeah. art. Uh, e the number EDM one EDM billboard, billboard artist of the year. <laughs> like, can we talk about this? Because what the fuck? Makes one album that sounds really? like house. He's yeah. Billboard yeah. named him number one EDM artist of Get, 2022. Guess who they named number two? Guess. Justin Bieber? No. 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 Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Gaga. I swear to God, the only like EDM song I've heard from Lady Gaga is a remix that an EDM DJ. Yeah. I, no, hate to, but, I hate to say but, it, but this actually kind of brings up a really interesting topic. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about the music. It's about the, the Money. artist that they curated. Yeah. Think about all these music no, they, artists. They, they, they paid curate. For, yeah. Yeah. They paid for that. Yeah. It's rigged. Money, money. That's I, I, I don't know if rigged is the right word. It's just no, that, because they pay for their spot. Again, it's been I, known. again, I don't know if rigged is the right word. It's just mm. that is the system. That's how it works in yeah. the music industry. Is like, it's not about the music. It's about which artist can like pay for it first of all, and secondly, yeah. it's just like who has a bigger name. Like, let, let's be honest so here. Sad. As much as we love, like, say, Elenium, let's use him, him yeah. as an example. Drake has a bigger name. Yep. It's just what it yeah. is. Yep. You yep. know what I mean? Well. Yeah. Taking away the billboard side because that's too mainstream. Wait, who are the who are the other ones though? Oh, we were talking third about. was Chainsmokers, fourth was Calvin Harris, and fifth was Daft Daft Punk. Yeah, that Daft Punk hasn't even Dude, released. I know. That is no, so I know. interesting. <laughs> yeah, like okay, I'm not. Hate, who's number four? Uh, Calvin Harris. Calvin, Calvin Harris. Harris hasn't fucking released anything. Either. He hasn't released anything. Mind in you, so we love these artists. Okay, yeah. respect to these artists, but like. How did they come about in making this list? I that's yeah, what I don't understand. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Didn't, Again, didn't, I'm not hating on Lady Gaga too, but like really? She has I mean, I guess like the one EDM song that comes to mind that's like popular right now is Rain on Me with Ariana Grande. Rain on You me. know that, that that makes you, makes me really? sad cuz that goes to show that like one song Never heard of it. Makes one you song, EDM. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. One song blows up because they have that huge audience. And it gets more views and streams than an EDM artist with a full album. Yeah. I want to yeah. see Drake go like, on the CDJs right now. Let's go. Look, I like there's no problem with them making EDM For music. Sure. It's yeah, just like course. give credit to the f fucking EDM artists. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, artists the ones actually that actually make it all EDM. the time. Yeah. Like it consistently. See, <laughs> see, that's the other thing too. I feel like certain artists shouldn't even be allowed to apply for different genres. 
Like, I know it might, it might sound kind of fucked up, but, like, think about it. Like, you have these artists who've literally been working their entire Eat, lives. sleep, brave, repeat this exactly. whole shit. Exactly. Yeah. And then you have someone like Drake and you have someone like Lady Gaga. Just dabble. Want, dabble well, a little and then, boom, do, they become do they the have, biggest. Do like, they really? apply or do they get but, nominated? Yeah, they wait, got, that's... See, that's, that's what we don't know. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Like, that's what we don't so, know. I have no problem with them, like, like dabbling in, in making EDM and stuff. That's Devin, that's Devin, know, Devin, know, Devin, Zed was not on the list. How do you feel about that? Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That's kind a good of point. Zed wasn't yeah. on the list, the but fuck, Lady Billboard. Gaga <laughs> and Drake. <laughs> like, Lady Gaga and Drake were Justice on the list. for Zed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know for like, when it comes to like the EDM community, I know John, uh, John Summit was named. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Number so one. Subtronics Drake, 2. Subtronics 2. Yeah. 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 Who, who came first? Or is it they're just both in the like. I think no- it's just different like companies that name. Because I know that um all time edm is that what it's called all time edm name subtronics number one i don't know Ooh. who names um honestly yeah, that makes sense no yeah. that, that so makes sense that yeah. man's been Both? selling out shows yeah. Yeah. subtronics and year. and john summit for this last year yeah, john has summit been too. not, not yeah. Yeah. amazing yeah. oh yep. shit sorry yeah. girls getting excited, excited. Um, excited for john <laughs> summit. Um, but like but like can we talk about mags though because the mags top 100 top dj charts like it's always the same artist every year. Mind you, Martin Garrix got number one again, again this year. Love him to pieces, but I don't know how they do that list because even Elenium doesn't respect that list at all. It's really the same people every year. Every freaking oh, year. I honestly, even check but it's like they rotate who gets number one. Honestly, uh. it's probably a really dumb measuring system because fun fact, like, do you guys know what the Michelin stars are? Yes. Mm-hmm. Michelin star is how we rate food. Yeah. yeah. Michelin is a fucking tire company. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why are they the ones deciding what is the best food in the world? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that wait, is I always thought about that. Is that actually It's the, true. Oh wait, my so they God. Being serious. It's from the tire company? The tire company owns the Michelin star system because they are Michelin. Isn't it with the that's oh. the one with the, the white? Little, the, the, yes. He looks like a little Maybe that's why. Oh. Yes. Oh, so it's like fuck? it's like Maybe they do Those have like a boy. team of critics. Maybe they do have like sure. it's all planned out. Anything anymore? But what the hell? Yeah, who, who knows? Who, who knows what Mags rules? is like? Yeah. Where where did Mags get their team? You know, like yeah, who are their I, music I remember, critics? I remember gotta, like two three years ago. It's gotta be the money. yeah two three years ago. Elenium was just like yeah, I don't I don't believe in this. Like I don't even think it should be a thing. Yeah, uh, I think it should be up to like the people in the community mm-hmm. who create these lists. Yeah, because it's. It's it's on the same vibe of like the Staples Center becoming what crypto.com crypto. yeah. arena. Like literally the on, literally the only reason it's named that is because there were people who had enough money to buy it out. Yeah. Honestly, but then like once upon a time Staples had enough money to buy it out. That's true. Exactly, That's right? True. It should just be Laker Stadium. Like, or honestly, it should be I'm Peaking Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, <laughs> Give one, it some time. One day. Oh my god. One day. Wait, but I would rather we spend the money on a festival. Yeah, but yeah. crypto's not Actually, comparable I'd rather, to the billboards. I'd rather we spend the money <laughs> on uh, new equipment, uh, our own studio. Yeah. It was a yeah. mess. This. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh today yeah. was such a mess. L everybody. after L after. Yeah, we were supposed to start two and a half hours ago. Was it? Two no, hours we were ago? supposed to start an two hour, hour at like oh yeah, well, about two yeah. hours ago now. So for but. those who love the excitement of us getting kicked out at, at the end of every episode, it might happen today. Yeah, because yeah. we have to reserve this room, and we got denied the last two hours of the reservation. So yeah. By the way, on that topic, if any investors out there are wanting <laughs> to invest in the podcast, we would love to um, talk. have a conversation. Yeah, we'd love to have a conversation with you. We are in the in the in the works. We're we're talking to some Honestly, right now, but it yeah, it we're, would, anything helps. We're we're all in the trenches right now. We're all in, in legitimately. Oh, no! We're we're all kind of in the trenches now. Like like I'm I'm be, I like to be transparent with our audience. Like financially speaking, all of us are not in the best best shape because we're yeah, students. For those we're of working. You who think we are? Yeah, it's dude. Not like it's not. People people uh, be like uh, someone told me. I don't know who's calling saying it, but somebody was like, "Oh yeah, like the I'm peaking podcast grab? is like a cash grab, grab or whatever." And like, yeah. bro. I'm scared I, I won't no. pay rent. I'm not a broke all. Come college on. student. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> like, our editor's barely being paid, if at all. So it's like, I'm not trying to like, complain here, but I'm just like, I'm being, you know, I'm, I'm being transparent. transparent. I'm being transparent that we're not making as much money as you guys think. If we were, I'd be so much happier. Let me tell you right now, I'm not happy. 
<laughs> oh, oh, Ned. Oh, Ned. He got some bad news, but it's okay. How about, like, the people in your life? Okay. Like, oh, no, they... they yeah. We're rich, yeah. Do we help you? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I think he's not happy in a financial no, standpoint. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Valid, 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 valid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Venmo I, in the, Venmo the description. <laughs> <laughs> our Venmos are all in our, like, juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, someone cashed at me twenty one dollars yesterday. What the really? fuck? <laughs> just to like talk to me. On hey, Instagram. my birthday just passed. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey well, do you actually, want to get Christmas this, presents? Yeah. <laughs> by this time, it'll be it'll be yeah. well past it. But not not to yeah. sound like you know desperate young struggling artists, we, but we we are, literally are. are. We do desperate, we do want to start a, either a Patreon or utilize the IG subscriptions though. So. Um, I mean, if, yeah, again, I think we mentioned it in the last episode, but if those are things that you guys would be interested in, uh, you know, helping us with, then, uh, we would love to have like BTS for you guys, some extras, stuff that we can offer outside of what we already offer. Say it in here. I can't understand you. I don't know. I was trying to get her to to like, be like, well, speaking of trenches. Oh! Oh, I didn't catch that. Well, okay. speaking of trenches. <laughs> yeah, and never about the money talk. Yeah. Trenches. Uh, trenches. Trenches, right? Yes. Yeah, well, it, this was like a couple weeks ago. We were just like late on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now there's a DJ who's trying to change rhythm to trenches. Have you guys trench. heard about trench? Yeah. You guys heard I, about that? I don't know much about it. I Googled it once you guys texted me about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but what like, artist? so if like, fact, if Bird wants to start off, like what's been happening and then I'll just, yeah, go yeah. Off of it. Well, I was just reading what this DJ in fact wrote on his pa- personal page where yeah. like why he wants to change rhythm to mm-hmm. trench. And it's because there was like appropriation with the word rhythm, um, yeah. and the Jamaican culture. Yeah. Cause it's very, cause uh, the way that rhythm, dumb. yeah, no, but the way that rhythm happened, it's the same type of beat that reggae is. So they were, they got, cause if you think about it, it's that step. Yeah, like, cause like rhythm is defined as like flowy, mm-hmm. um, offbeat, heavy dubstep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they got that from it. reggae. Yeah. yeah, it's the same I, type of beat. I get it, but also like, when it comes to art, like a cultural appropriation. I I don't know. It, there there's a line of like, you're just not letting people be creative and like expand off of things anymore. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like like let's be honest. EDM started with. Uh, what techno? Many many house. years ago, or house house? Oh, well, te- house techno, yeah, yeah, yeah. What if what if someone was like, yeah. oh yeah, you can't use the basis of the floor and the floor to create what we have now? There'd and, be nothing that we have yeah. now. Yeah. Didn't house stem from like hip hop and stuff? Like house stems from like disco, like yeah. back in Chicago, right. like yeah. all that, like yeah, yeah. Now I get that. Okay, maybe they want to change the name from rhythm to to trench. trench. Yeah, but it's like, what is the problem with? I mean, wouldn't that be taking away? From the fact that it originated from a Jamaican, uh, that's what I was yeah. gonna say. Well, this is just kind yes of vibe. and no. I think it's because uh, back in like 2017, uh, Getter came out with an album oh, called 2014. Tren- oh, 2014. Yeah, yeah. Um, Getter came wow. out with an album called Trench, and he wanted to call it Trench, but it never caught on. When it came to Rhythm, it was more of like a meme type of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, because back then Rhythm was kind of made fun of. Like they're like, what What are you doing? Like it's just yeah. a bunch of like funny shit that you guys are trying to make out of yeah um and then obviously it got popular as like time went on and now people are starting to recognize even in fact he made that website he's like okay you know like we need to make it trench now yeah so but like, a lot of people are saying that like they're not going to change the name to trench yeah. um, and he even said himself yeah. like he's not trying to like make the movement but he's just letting people know that for his music he's going to describe his rhythm music as trench mm-hmm. um and like that's getter, a good way to go yeah, about it. yeah, yeah and getter think, responded to him and yeah. like getter was all for it because mm-hmm. again like getter getter yeah, made he, his he album. started it basically yeah. yeah so i think that you just want to, people to be more aware of like the history of it that's cool yeah totally yeah. fine i'm, I'm, I'm good with that yeah like, we should know the his. i mean i mean i I'll, I'll say like the random consumer probably it doesn't matter to them that's just like does this sound good it sounds good like yeah. you know yeah. but like anybody who we want to appreciate music more than just being a uh, just a uh, regular consumer of music mm-hmm. well, then yeah learn the history but i feel like that yeah. that's applicable to anything you know yeah i mean yeah as we've always stated before the genres are just ways to label the music but yeah. at the end of the day the music sounds like you yeah. in the wise words <laughs> sounds of like you. Jisoo. Jisoo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah rhythm now is like one of the most popular subgenres right yeah. now yeah. Just yeah. Killing yeah. It. yeah mm-hmm. it is speaking of that remember jessica otterfred show Whoa! Oh yeah. yeah, she threw down. So good. No, but um, her new song, new song yeah. with excision, yeah. excision. Yeah, and she then down. no, um, the artist who played before her, Arctic. Arctic. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's great dope. guy by the way. Arctic, yeah. super funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
we talked to him for a bit yeah. in the back room. <laughs> Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were <laughs> pretty drunk that night. Oops. Nice <laughs> Oops. Yeah. But that that honestly gave us all the energy to go crazy for just yes, dude. Yeah. You should. Okay. Well, you kind of you kind of seen us because we were like uh, on the stage, but like Brit and I were going fucking ham. We got the high knees, whatever the freaking riddle. It was yeah, just imagine like everyone back there was just like calm and collective. They're, like, you know, they're there that are support their homies, I yeah. guess, and they're not like going crazy. And you have like I think these two. Uh, Nad and I. That was, that was Nad and I. We're just Wait, saying, right? Can, can, can we insert that video? Is that possible? Insert video it's of us always, headbanging. It's always possible, it's Nikki. Always possible. It's, it's, it's okay. just. Okay. Well, there's yes, this video. Yes, I will insert it. <laughs> insert video of us headbanging to Jessica Otterford right here. No, right. it was, it was Arctic. Send me the oh, footage right yeah. after this. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> We'll send yeah. it. We'll send it. I promise. No, that, that was a fun night. Yeah. yeah, and then you ended up believing like towards the end. <laughs> when I when we say we got drunk, I got I got too. Oh yeah. <laughs> when we say we got drunk, we got drunk. You got wasted. Yeah. Let's just say joyride wasted. Me, almost no, not nah, not, 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 not quite joyride. joyride wasted. Okay, honestly, me and my history with Academy. You know, I love Academy, but for some reason, the vibes <laughs> and like everything that comes on onto me at that time. You know what too. Uh, was finals were over oh. you see that's understandable <laughs> you had a lot of stress did you have like another party to go to the next day i <laughs> i went to three parties three days in a row and As then fucking should. and then i took a monday off and then i went out tuesday it sounds like it sounds like you I could have totally college. handled edc so why didn't you come with us Okay, at that, I was actually in school, school. Yeah, I feel like the school, like <laughs> being in school just keeps you from like wanting to do more than what your body can do. So what you're saying is you can go to Thunderdome. Uh, Isn't that like next month? Yes. What day next month? I thought February. Thunderdome was in February. Oh, it's February. in February? Yeah. Oh, wait, technically when this video comes One out, then it February. is next month. Fourth? But then we have Wasteland at the end. Yeah. Oh, no. For your birthday. We also yeah, have Skyline, actually. Potential <laughs> artist on the 10th. Oh, yeah. Oh. Coming in. Yeah, that's oh. the weekend before. I don't know. It's kind of close. Hey, man. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. Just know that after I graduate, I'll, I'll, I'm good. <laughs> Next semester. Time-wise. Financially, though. Financially, I can't fucking do that shit. I'm a broke college student. <laughs> I, I barely making it by. You know, it's crazy that we actually got to episode 10 with, with like, the... <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? We didn't think we were going to make it this far? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> when I think about it, it's crazy that we, we like, we're scraping by. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this this podcast is expensive. So expensive. Yeah. For anyone, yeah, for anyone out there that thinks a podcast is just like, eh, whatever. The money rolling in. No, no, no. no. Think again. <laughs> but Unless I'm, you got all the equipment ahead of time. Yeah. But, yeah. But I still love doing this. Oh, like, yeah, no, I absolutely love it. Well, yeah. that's why we do it, because it's fun just to talk to each other. Uh, and plus, yeah, we, since we have a platform, we might as well utilize it to, like, have a voice for mm -hmm. things that, like, aren't really said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. I, uh, Code Code Pink, our friend, mm -hmm. um, he texted, texted me, like, right before we walked into our podcast and mm -hmm. made me really happy to see this. So I mentioned that song, Sing. It doubled his, uh, it doubled in, in streams. Amazing. It doubled in streams. Oh, oh really? Yep. Yeah. Oh shit! Just that song. Well, Granted, I'm pretty sure most of them were yeah. me from like putting it on repeat in my car every day. But <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, let's triple it. Let's look at the song. Scene. Sing and bad decisions. Go check it out. Let's triple yeah, these true colors. Out. True colors. True. Co oh, the remix of True Colors. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the one that we made yes, a video? Yes, that is the one <laughs> I made, that we made the video to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys. Code Pink. Go check out our boys, Keenan and Calvin. Yeah. They're really good. Amazing people. Support the homies. Really and they're they're also both on the grind. Keenan is literally a pediatrician. That, means, that hence, man doesn't the sleep. How the fuck do you hence, do that? Hence the name, um, uh, Code Pink. No. Is that oh. really why? Oh. Yeah. Do you guys not know what a Code yeah. Pink is? Yeah, now I do. No. I, I know it's in a, it's in a hospital. Like it's Code Pink is when someone tries to steal a baby. Why oh. would they name? How, did you not watch Grave Anatomy? No, Code Pink because he's a pediatrician. pediatrician. I did not. <laughs> oh. What did Calvin? What does Calvin do? He's the singer. No, I, I know that, but like, no, he's not the main singer though. He, they don't s sing on everything. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I I just, I just know that Code Pink is well. It's Code Pink and uh. stealing babies. And yeah. he's a pediatrician, so it all makes sense. Interesting. I think Calvin just produces because uh, I was really drunk when I was talking to him. But I know he, I know he moved out here recently, and he's just producing music. He's yeah, like, yeah, no, they're part, he's part of Code Pink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a, it's the, it's the yeah, two yeah, of them. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, interesting. Was that yeah. you talked? Was that no, at my we, birthday? Yeah. Oh, okay. Speaking yeah, of, uh, we just celebrated Dad's birthday. birthday. 
I I love my friends. That's <laughs> all I gotta say. Uh, no, that's not all I gotta say. <clears throat> what are you talking so, about? We didn't even do anything on your birthday. Nand, we lost you the, the Nand reservations. And Bryn, <laughs> Nand and Bryn pulled together some some shit, man. So. Uh, I, there's this restaurant in downtown God, LA he, called he must not like it because he called one it above. <gasps> Pulled together some shit like in a good way. That was shit. <laughs> Why are you pick- picking apart my words, <laughs> bro? He's picking up my slang. That's how I just yeah. it. <laughs> so nice. So uh, Nan- Nand and Bryn made a reservation for this uh, really nice restaurant in downtown LA called 71 Above. It's on the 71st floor of the US Bank building. And I've been there one time back in 2017. It was for, uh, I did media coverage for them back when they first opened. And it was, I- I've been talking about the place ever since because it's one of the nicest yep. restaurants I've ever been to. The view is incredible. Uh, when I went there the first time, there was literally helicopter flying below like where we were and for the record like, he he would bring it up every couple of months never like too much where it was annoying yeah. but just enough as in like hey i just i really like this place and it would just come up in conversation a lot yeah we would always talk about how we were gonna like go there like yeah. sometime yeah. Or do you remember at in and out after on one of the shows when we were talking and i was like so how would you feel if like someone took you 71 and above <laughs> i'm literally <laughs> sitting there going Brit, no Ash, stop, Brit, Brit, stop. Brit, <laughs> that was a long time ago yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, do you remember? Y- y'all been planning this shit for a long time yeah, and i was like yeah i'm gonna have my sugar daddy take me there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like and then the literally case. what the like couple days before i was like dude we should do like for the anniversary for the one year anniversary of uh i'm peaking we should go to 71 i mean above. we should yeah. still do it yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we're gonna do it so a couple do days it. before we actually went you were saying that i'm like in my head i'm like oh he doesn't know 71 and above sponsor us <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. When, when, when you told me that like rebecca said see you saturday i thought she was talking about like for the party not the restaurant thing so i thought the party was like Oh, that it wasn't happening. That was ruined. Mm. I, mean, I mean, I did get a couple spoilers for dude, like for the seven party, different times. But... Andy, yeah, and it was Andy. I was kept also, my mouth shut. It was also Rebecca. It was yeah. Mike, Sony. Like, so many people. Were just, what? Yeah. what did he say? He was just like, he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, like, are we gonna like hang out this week or something? He's like, yeah. He's like, nah. I was like, nah. I was like but I'll, I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs> oh. I'm like, will you? <laughs> or no, What's or no, on his Saturday? snowboard. He was like, I'll get it from you on Saturday. And I was <laughs> Rebecca also I at Big Bear. I kept my mouth shut for yeah. three weeks. <laughs> Rebecca two at weeks. Big Bear was Damn also it. like, she's like, yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. And I'm yeah. like, what's on Saturday? And she's like, oh, I think we're hanging. I think oh. yeah. that's the, honestly, that's the downside. You, that's the downside of like planning anything a couple months in advance. Yeah. The 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 statistical likelihood of someone <laughs> ruining it and or just accidentally saying, hey, Devin, what time was I supposed to be there again? Oh, Brandy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell her it was a surprise. So that was my uh, fault. Yeah. Brandy you know. was like, hey, I don't know if I can make it tonight, but I, don't know, I texted her back. I'm like, what's tonight? And she goes, she doesn't respond. <laughs> Never mind. I cleared it up though by saying, "Oh yeah, we were all gonna take you out to Factory 93." So like the very last yeah. minute, you had an did idea. You, you, did you believe it? Did you actually believe we were gonna take you to Factory 93? Uh, when yeah, when I was like, I was like, we should get a table, and you were like, "Oh yeah, we already got one." So and I was like, "Oh okay," I actually did believe it. Yeah. But what was going through your mind when they said, "Oh, we have to go back to Rebecca's"? Uh, I I I had like a slight inkling, maybe, mm. but I, I was like, it was nah. believable because of the time. I was it like, was okay. so early in the it night. Was, it, it was, was like, really seven? early, it so make I was any like, sense for us to go out at mm. eight p.m. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, so it was it was chaos when waiting for you to come. Yeah. In. So anyway, so after after we went to seventy one above, these guys took us back to our friend Rebecca's place, uh, <laughs> uh, and everyone everyone was there. All my friends. Uh, and, and we were trying to friends. figure out how to turn off the light for like the longest time <laughs> <laughs> like, and then like we're like okay so wait, sh- should we hide should we hide so like we we hid behind the kitchen counter and then like we thought so you were going to come from the garage door yeah. but then we heard someone come up from the front door we're like wait what the fuck and then it turns out someone went to the bathroom we're like fuck dude <laughs> didn't Akamaru bite someone too while it was like dark <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god no he, no, it he, was during he, the he game. bought yeah, um, Andy it was during hey, the game Andy, yeah, Andy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh but it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. Yeah. Akamaru, yeah, yeah. Akamaru is like a sweet dog. He's just um, he's very protective of. He Rebecca. doesn't know his strength. He's, he's a, a big, big dog. dog. I mean, yeah. Andy was just playing a game. Like he was. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's why. But okay. Becca was right behind him. Oh, yeah. No so wonder. that's usually what happens. Akamaru, if there's too much like energy around Becca, he's like yeah. danger, danger. Yeah. Yeah. M- mother in danger. Danger. Will Robinson. <laughs> danger. <laughs> danger. Will Robinson. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, I I thank you guys so much. I I love you guys. Do you guys do you guys figure out the theme? Uh huh. Did you figure out the theme? The theme? Yes. Of the whole of your party. Yeah, there was a theme. 
We tried. We tried. It kind of there failed, was? but we tried. Yeah. We got the decorations from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know. It there was, was a theme. obviously it was a, a Demon Slayer anime theme. Oh, but it was yeah, also yeah, yeah, it was yeah. also Dev's initiation. So I was trying to make it seem as Fra- much like like we made like f- your we made fraternity. frat juice. Frat, frat juice. juice. We made jungle, jungle juice. 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 We made frat <laughs> juice. That stopped me up. <laughs> I know. Wait, I I love you for the zero sugar uh, jungle juice. So <laughs> good I, shit. I, I had to push it really hard. Good shit. I had to push it really hard, and he was like, "It doesn't go with my recipe," and I'm like, "Nan, fuck your <laughs> recipe." Such a, <laughs> such a Nancy thing. Because because the thing is, the way that I made my recipe, it has dull concentrate syrup, um, but she wanted, or sorry, sorry, pineapple with syrup, and she was like, "No, pineapple with juice." And she was just like pushing it really, really hard. I'm like, okay, okay. Then we're gonna have to get like another sweetener factor. So we got the sun kissed because no, like no, we got the fruit punch, the sugar free because there punch. was supposed to be no fruit punch in there. But that was <laughs> the, the but sweet, when you guys sweetener. were trying to play rage cage, and you guys were pouring, <laughs> and you guys were pouring the jungle juice. No, oh yeah, and then, and, then, and then dad was like, Bird, "What are you doing? I've seen people throw up on this thing. Do not put it in the yeah. juice." Yeah. Yeah. Dad went full dad it's, mode. I, and that, that was fair. But Dude, I at least she got fucked. Up. You got every like at the end of the uh, night, the number of people who were fucked up, Larry and they losing didn't, a rage yeah, cage. and they didn't even drink that much of the jungle juice. We we still had half left by the end of the night. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Like no, my fraternity brothers, they all know my recipe because that when I tell you, I've had to clean up six piles of vomit in one night and wow. drive someone to the hospital. <laughs> were you a pledge or what? Like no, I was one of the brothers. Oh yeah, I made a mistake. Why did you get pledges to do yeah, that? Yeah, come on. Because they're the ones puking. So clean up your puke. I literally, <laughs> dude, the day, okay. When I tell you they no, were no, not no. moving. <gasps> okay, um, you all, you, uh, let me just let me just tell you guys Again, quick. you guys in here drove someone to the hospital. You think only one person got oh, passed yeah. out drunk? Yeah, Nand. So, I'm never okay, doing that again. so the first night I was a pledge for my, my fraternity in, yeah. in college. We have uh, what's called, um, actually, what is it called? A cocktail. It's called a cocktail, right? Yeah. And basically, it's it's the Friday after all the pledges get bids. We go to the party. Every all the pledges, like they're supposed to get like super fucked up, right? Yeah. Like yeah. that's just how it is. So like literally before we even start the party, the pledges are in the garage, like in a circle with the sweetheart who has a full fifth of alcohol, like the Ooh. for the drink, like whatever the whatever the sweetheart drink is or the yeah. And so she gets the fifth, and then the pledges have to finish it. Right. And then the pledges go when they go back into the house, everyone is lined up like football game style. Oh, it's a gauntlet. Like out of the you have uh, out of the g- garage. Out of the garage, like going back into the that house. That is called a gauntlet. And everyone's yeah, everyone's got like shots and they're like, Congratulations. And you're you're coming out, you're like already buzzed. You're like, Yeah, I'm a pledge for like this fraternity. <laughs> you're just taking shots in within thirty minutes, all the pledges are in the graveyard, on the ground, like just passed out drunk. And yeah. like throwing up everywhere, whatever. I was one of those people. Mm. I actually made it home that night, but I was throwing up the whole night. Yeah. We had to come back the next day and clean it all up. Oh. Uh. Half of us are like puking while we're cleaning up. To because be fair, we're cleaning it up. To be fair, that time where six people threw up wasn't at our fr- fraternity house because we actually were not allowed to have any parties that quarter because someone fucked up. Yeah. So it was at so my apartment. Like- Oh, oh, that's um, so that you can see sense. why I cleaned it up immediately. Yep, yep, yep. I understand. And the thing is, like, I, Re- Rebecca was like nice enough to let us. Yeah, you know, like, because the original plan was actually get an Airbnb in downtown. Yeah, but that would have been like triple the I know, amount. Of money. But I know Airbnb doesn't allow do do parties that. anymore. Well, uh, I mean, Rebecca's you... place. I mean, if there's a more perfect place, then oh Rebecca's yeah, for sure. Place, for sure. You know? <laughs> yeah, our friend Rebecca has a really nice place, and uh, don't tell them more. In, uh, don't tell no. them more. North North LA, yes. Carolina. So, don't do that. <laughs> be real. She's in North she, LA. She's got enough. She's got enough. Like uh, uh, I wasn't planning to say this. In North Carolina, that people would try to find her. Yeah, I I wasn't planning on saying the city, but yeah. So. For anyone that does follow Rebecca, though, you probably know. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm so painful. Why are you so rude? I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, uh, and then, yeah, thank you guys also for taking me to dinner again. And we had an escape room night, too. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry I'm I couldn't sure go to that one. Right. No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Brent texted me like, "Can you come?" I was like, "I'm sorry." Yeah, <laughs> okay. it was it was a pretty like last minute uh, yeah. Yeah. escape room thing. Like, it was just yeah. supposed to be the dinner. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie, the the uh, on your actual birthday, um, 
I didn't actually have anything planned. I just didn't want you to know when your actual birthday was, like the, the party and everything was. Yeah. But then you moved your dinner with your dad to a different day. I'm like, shit, okay, now I got to actually have something on his yeah, birthday. This man, this man goes, don't plan anything from the, the 16th to the 21st or something like that. 23rd. Yeah, he's like, the 16th to the 23rd. I'm like, that's a big time frame. So what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> that's like a week. That's and, a whole last week. <laughs> you didn't, so thank you for that. Good oh, job. I did, but I, I still asked. I still asked what, yeah. what days. Yeah, my dad yeah. was like, "What? Is, you guys gonna do something every day?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know what they got planned. I think they have something planned week. for me." And he's like, "All right, well, okay." Dude, honestly, if it, yeah, because like, there was just so many things that were going crazy that day, so we didn't even get to do the first part. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm, I just want to tell them. Uh, well, tell no, it. well, the first part actually happened in real life. The on his actual birthday, because of the whole cheesecake thing. <laughs> yeah. Did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we had a bit that we were supposed to do. Nan we were was gonna, like, "Yeah, we we're gonna go to like a cheesecake factory or something, and then just be like, oh no, there's no we didn't reservation. get reservations. Oh no, <laughs> I guess we have to go somewhere else.' Okay, which is so funny because I know Cheesecake Factory doesn't do reservations. They don't. They don't. They don't. No, they do on, on a tape on the on the table app, but it's only for eight people. That's probably why. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's the first time I've ever heard of Cheesecake Open Factory table. doing. Oh, Open yeah. table. Interesting. Yeah. For the record, anyone who wants to go to Seventy One Above, oh, so good, but. Be prepared to pay a lot yeah, of money. But get the A5 white, white, Wagyu. 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 Yeah, get the A5 Wagyu uh, Japanese steak. Don't get the cheese it board is... as dessert. <laughs> I actually agree get with the that. the toffee also. Oh, oh my God. The toffee, toffee, the toffee dessert. Ice cream. Oh cup, my whatever God. it was. I'd go so back for good. just that. I'd go back just yeah. for that. If you visit LA and uh, you got you got the money uh, and you can book it a month in advance. I think I think it's what? A month? Is about a month? month. Yeah, about a month in advance. Highly, I will highly say, recommend. If you book it, just nice. It's required. Yeah. yeah. Um. If you book a month in advance, you have a lot of options and times. But then if you book with uh, within like twenty eight days, you have very minimal options. I'm mm -hmm. not kidding. Yeah. Like I literally waited one or two days too long. Yeah. All the options disappeared. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we're doing five p.m. <laughs> oh my god. Or if any DJ who has money out there wants to rent <laughs> out, wait, what, wait, 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 hear me out. Wants to rent out seventy one and above and throw an event. That would be sick. Like, would they allow that? If you have yeah. the money to buy out, uh, yeah, you could rent it Imagine. out. Imagine you can re you can you can pay out the whole day out. When I was emailing and like what? looking through all the information, you can book out the whole. Oh the whole place. Like, that would be sick to have like an EDM night at 71 and above you know yeah. and like just sell tickets and get like part of the money back but like if you have the money oh to do god, it oh my god that would be amazing the view I don't know, is I don't know incredible if they would, I don't know if they would allow for like a party party because like they have it's a fine dining place yeah, you know true. what I'm saying like that is true. they wouldn't want to risk their shit getting destroyed yeah. if they maybe had like a conference room in a corner that we didn't see yeah. like a private event space perhaps like an EDM dinner night like as we eat dinner and they play EDM music like yeah. a, oh a release yeah. party yeah that's true. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. That's, that's, that's more part of it. Actually, I want to ask you guys. I mean, if you guys are watching, please, please uh, let us know if you guys want us to like throw an event. Like, I feel Whoa. like that'd be so cool. Like, <laughs> like we get like an event space, maybe like Mel Melrose Place or some other like location and we just yeah. throw an event. Yeah. Like Sidewalk Talk did. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. Um. Did anyone ask about the whole copyright thing of we could share music and stuff? Is that possible? I think I saw a comment today that said... Uh, you you might be able to do it under fair use, but it's tough. What is fair use? Yeah. Fair use in media law is just basically you're using it without um you're not making profit out of it. Yeah, um, but I would imagine that there's probably some sort of time limit on that. Like you can you can't seconds, go over probably? yeah or seconds? even I heard it was ten. Ten. Wow. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, we wouldn't be able to like showcase anything. Nope. You need at least 30, 30 seconds to forty five yeah. seconds. Yeah, ten seconds is like a build up. Of a song, literally <laughs> yeah. in the EDM yeah, space. Yeah, done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like barely an eight. Count. Like blue ball, everyone. Like, yeah. Show them. Dude, that's like, like build up. That's like the uh, what was it? Uh, all the small things. It'd be like all the. That's, that's it. literally it. Just all the. All no, the, I think, I think it, it, would, no, it would be. It would be like all the small, small things, things, and that's uh, it. true. Yeah. Done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see if we can figure something we'll out. Figure it out. Yeah. But thank you guys anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to make that a segment. Um. But <laughs> unfortunately, music. yeah. Copyright. Copyright. Uh, stuff is a bit. Yeah. I mean, whenever we have. Um. How did it go with Fairlane? Oh. They just. Uh. So I. I. I believe that the uh, label just. They just um, waived it. Whitelisted it, yeah. Oh. So like, so if we have like an artist or we have a label that whitelists it, then we're good. Yeah, okay. but we can't like, for example, like I randomly decide, oh yeah, we're just gonna talk about this artist today in this yeah, moment. Yeah, we can't. 
we wouldn't be like it wouldn't work no we would have no, to reach yeah. out to the artists <clears throat> yeah. and ask if they could ask their we, record we'd have to get yeah. we'd have it's to just, get permission it's a lot of that's hard lot of work. that's hard because yeah. it's just like you know we, i don't want to script everything all the time i want to like yeah. if, if i have like an artist in my mind like yeah. i'll play yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly yeah. yeah let me show you guys this song i've been listening we should to we now. should really yeah. have code pink just whitelist everything because i talk about them a lot <laughs> we sh yeah well I'm, I'm sure we can talk to keenan and calvin about that yeah yeah Probably talked to Wave about his dude. Uh, wait, wait. Dude, he got a lot of comments on the on the because we the yeah. the um uh, well no just the the uh, artists reel the that we did clip? Yeah. yeah yeah the new social clip went up today and uh, like a ton of people were yeah. commenting like Wave yeah and yeah. I was like whoa Aww. yeah Wave is great so hell yeah, yeah. Dude. very good yeah go check him out he's gonna be so happy <laughs> yeah <laughs> we love you man dude <laughs> you're good uh, uh, let us know when you have a show we'll come out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. Well, he's in Chicago, so <laughs> let us know but. when you have a show in California, <laughs> Los Angeles. Specific, yeah. Specifically or, or if you do have something in Chicago, um, no, I don't want your management to pay. Ah! <laughs> you can see what the gears are running. Yeah, out, right? so, I was just waiting for you to yeah, say. No, literally, it. I was like, <laughs> no. Like, I take it back. I take it back. We'll just fly out ourselves. Honestly, you, you should thank Chrissy, our friend Chrissy, because Chrissy is the one who showed us. Oh this. yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's the one who sent, or she's the one who sent it. She was supposed to come to your choice. birthday, but then she was out of town. Uh, I invited her too. Damn, it's okay. Um, but uh, wait, uh, changing changing topics so real quick. Um, That's I know funny. We, were... we didn't even tell anybody who what your, how old you are now. Oh yeah, <laughs> we talked about your birthday 18. for so long. 40, 41. <laughs> um, Eighteen plus ten. Leave, leave in the comments <laughs> below. Leave in the comments below how old you think this child is. I've literally said it multiple times. Yeah. Did old. you really? Yeah. Don't say it again, because okay. they might have forgotten. Okay. Don't go back. <laughs> Don't go back. Don't rewind. I want to see if you're paying attention. He's 38 yeah. years old. I'm not 30. <laughs> if, if I was 30, I would have made a much bigger deal about it. Wait, I literally said in my birthday, like in my post on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, but so. we're talking about the people who are watching the podcast. Yeah, no cheating. <laughs> yeah, no cheating. Um, real quick, I wanted because I know we were talking about it earlier, uh, and Mickey just made a video on this new genre mm. of music uh but i wanted to talk a little bit about funk is that a new genre it's not a newer newer okay. it's just becoming more okay. popular yeah yeah so, okay so becoming more so, becoming more popular yeah, yeah let's let's go like professor wonderly mode okay. Uh, okay so funk originated from memphis funk back in like the 80s and uh, it was actually like hip-hop and trap so it used to be like lo-fi oh, vinyl and yeah. like all that stuff and then obviously tiktok came along gen z came along and they're like let's see if i can make funk and make it like on a house beat. Yeah. And so that's, they merged it together. And now it's called Drift Funk. Oh. Yeah. And so like now everyone is like trying to make it, just people like uh, combined it with like dubstep and trap. Yeah. And now now it's combined with like, like a cowbell. That's like the, the yeah. noise. So yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it's it's uh, that that noise always makes me think of like this old um, racing game I used to play. People have been saying they listen I to forgot, like racing games. Yeah, I forgot what it was, but the, yeah, they it was that that cowbell specifically, mm -hmm. or like it's like the, a very yeah the deviation 909, of the, yeah, 909 exactly. cowbell. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like in a bunch of those games, but um, I like I wanted to talk a little bit about funk just in general because I actually found funk through uh, Niall's videos because mm -hmm. Niall listens to a lot of funk and so he puts he'll put a lot of funk songs over his um, workout videos. Yeah. So I got like like Trunk. Uh, I got uh, Maximum Carnage. Like these are just a few names of songs, funk songs. Mm -hmm. But um, I honestly love the genre. Yeah, I the think actual it's really... genre started like blowing up because of the gym talk yeah. i yeah. see it all the time on tiktok but, for yeah. like gym people who yeah. always post about it and then gen z specifically are like the age range that yeah, has been yeah. but i lot. feel like now people are start starting to think if it's going to be a new edm subgenre because now that yeah. they're mixing in with like edm beats and stuff like they're like it's becoming blurred at this point so we don't it's electric i wouldn't doubt it because people thought about this for hyper pop and hyperpop now is starting to be um like on um uh, lineups for mm -hmm. insomniac events. Mm -hmm. So like a hundred gex. A hundred gex is a hyperpop uh artist. Okay. Yeah. I mean honestly we could backtrack to our conversation earlier with rhythm and rhythm. like how it exactly was like, you know, it has the touches of reggae music <laughs> and how yeah. that translated into rhythm and it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's it's translating, granted it's um funk what, what city? Country? 
from state originated from, from memphis. memphis yeah like memphis mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i wouldn't doubt it if there's a lot of people who are behind it and would see a set and they have enough people at the set they would probably have a dj who plays funk at yeah. a show i wouldn't doubt it it's yeah. gonna take some time but like we're still waiting on that drum and, drum and bass stage, you know? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, they have it at like smaller shows, yeah. but there's yeah. not really a specific stage for drum and bass. Please make yeah. a drum and bass festival, someone. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear I about mean, the, the drum and bass funk? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was it was it was okay. Yeah, they're still like trying to it make I don't okay. even know how they're gonna do it, but the, yeah. I mean it's you know, ask Jizum. He's mm, the rave scientist. That's he, true. If anybody's gonna like <laughs> create he'll some new shit, something. he'll concoct something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just not popular here in the states because outside of the states, they do play a lot of drum and bass. Dude, oh yeah. yeah, honestly, yeah. oh yeah, in the UK, it's yeah, like, oh, they, in the UK is huge. Uh -huh. huge. They even have like festivals dedicated to like hard style music, and I'm sure they have festivals dedicated to drum and yeah. bass. Music. Yeah, no, for sure they oh. do. Because most drum and bass artists, I feel like, come out of the UK, like. Uh, Faint. Uh, I'm. I don't. I don't know if Fox Stevenson is from the UK originally, but I think I. I want to say he is. I'm not. I saw. He's Australian. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Well, yeah. There's there's faint. There's uh fibes. I think it's fibes. <laughs> not not fibs. Fibs. Not fibs. fibs. I'm pretty sure Sorry. it's fibes. Sorry. Fibs. fibes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fibes. But I'm um, a fan the, of you, fibes. <laughs> they're Fibre also five. from the UK. Um, I'm forgetting some all, some other ones, but. I think is Wilkinson from the UK. Do you know? No, oh, maybe not. Anyways, I know it's a lot bigger over there. Yeah. So. This might be random, but I just saw a flyer earlier, and this talk of hard style reminded me of it. Um, Caleb, Caleb mm. is opening for a uh, little Texas. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah! I think we're going to the show, aren't we? Yeah. Wait, let's wait, go. Wait, um, uh, what's his DJ name? I can't remember wait. his DJ name. There's Baby Ziz. Baby yeah. Ziz yeah. is also opening. Yes. No, no, that's, 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 Caleb. that's Caleb. That's Caleb. That's Caleb? That's Caleb. <laughs> I don't know his name. Sorry. Or he, what, Wait, okay. are you, he has are, like are you fan of Dionysus? Huh? Dionysus that's is his, DJ his actual name. Is Dion I yeah. listen to his songs at the gym. Oh! He's, no, no. Wait, he's one of our homies. Wait, you listen to Heartstyle in the gym? Heartstyle all the way to the gym. Oh. Wait, it's hung... baby fucking Ziz, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what? You should have hung out with us at a skate. I got no He's literally one of our homies. He stayed at Jesse and Dustin's <laughs> yeah. the last night. He should have came <laughs> over with the fuck. I'm a fan. That's all yeah. he listens wow. to at the gym. Well, he he. I already talked to uh, to him about coming on the podcast. Yeah. So we're we're gonna yeah. We'll he's doing. He's opening for a little Texas, and that's gonna be really cool. Yeah. Whoa. That would be yeah. That'll be super fun. Yeah. We should discuss our schedule later but no you know what we need to discuss we need to discuss uh, we'll, we'll, having we'll having stuff. um sponsors so that we can have a project <laughs> manager no, no 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 so we can have a project manager who can keep us in line because it's starting to get wild oh true oh, our schedule is starting to get it's wild so i'm not gonna it's tell you guys wild. what it is but the who we have <laughs> Oh. That was weird. What the fuck? Nan's, <laughs> Nan's starting to enter spoiler mode. So no, 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 no. spoilers. <laughs> Let's just say dun, January dun, is very, dun, very dun, packed. Dun, 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 dun. We have some. We have some. We have some good shit coming your way. Nice, yeah. nice uh, rendition. By the way, <laughs> I know what you're doing. I know what song that is. <laughs> Put in the comments what song you thought that was. Um, but yeah, we got we got we got January book, and and then we also got come from for February. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a yeah. good time. Yeah, we so got having a project things. manager would be really awesome. It's yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be a big year next year. We're so, so excited. We're starting off the year strong. Yeah. yeah. While we are strong. while we are uh while we are talking about um how we're suffering a bit, I I do feel like next year is gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a good year, one. Oh, I see so. you're that being money. said, thank you. Yes. Thank you to everybody. Money, money, yeah. money, money, money. <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> thank you, thank you to all of you guys who, who keep watching, keep commenting, keep sending us like story posts of you watching while you do your work. I still oh, yeah, love, love seeing that. that all the time because yeah. That's what keeps us coming back in here over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Disclaimer: It's not just gonna be about money. I'm sorry. It's, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's gonna be a money filled with love and and prosperity yeah. And, yeah. And, and dedication. Yeah. And sorry, sorry, we're sorry. just having broke mindsets right now. Yeah. 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 Abundant mindsets. We're putting out abundance, abundance, yeah. abundance yeah. into the atmosphere. But like also Law of the, assumption. But like we're, also at the same time, are y'all surprised we're in our twenties? <laughs> like, let's be honest here. We're in our twenties. It's a good. It's good. It's a good point. Yeah, like, yeah. If we were, like, if we were in our thirties, that's we, that's a little concerning. Yeah, that's a little concerning. concerning. Yeah, they're getting close, but you know, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> so, um, Brent, yeah. I know you had a you had another topic that you want oh, to talk about. Yeah. Too. yeah, I want to talk about cyberpunks. Have you guys heard about cyberpunks? Cyberpunk, Wait, cyberpunk? Edge Runner? 
Edge Richards? <laughs> that anime? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, no, no, no. Dude, no. Dude, isn't it like e- the, the the other word for emo, whatever? Or no, no, no. They're called cyberpunk. So they literally cyberpunk. Literally cyberpunk. So it's it's a mix of emo kids and rave kids. It's, it originated in the nineties, but. I know about this because I was really obsessed with Wednesday. I haven't watched it yet, but I was trying to watch <gasps> it. Need to watch I need to watch it. But you know the dance scene, right? Yes. The, nah, yeah. Yeah. Nah. So nah. she got that dance scene from um, the emo kids. Mm-hmm. And so she looked up like emo inspo. And if you look up emo kids. She choreographed that in the day. By herself. Yeah, by herself. Wow. Yeah, so Amazing. I was like, I wonder like what she was looking at. So I looked it up on YouTube and I looked up cyber and I, and I came up across cyberpunks or, mm-hmm. or cyber kids, cyberpunks. And I was I wanted to know what it is because these kids literally look like they're dancing to heart style music and they're muzzing. So <gasps> wait, wait, is it is oh, it that really? video where they're going like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's exactly <laughs> that one. But like, this, but like she developed it to make it look like oh, yeah, very haunted yeah, 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 and creepy. Yeah. But it was very very similar. Yeah, yeah. Like but, you could tell where she got it from. Yeah, but like these kids oh. have a sad sad a sad story. Because when they were first originated and they were like getting big, mm-hmm. no one accepted them back in the 90s. Oh, yeah. And yeah. everyone hated on them. Everyone kicked them out of the clubs. The emo goths or the goth kids? They kicked them out of the clubs because they thought they were freaks. So what did they do? They went online and they made these videos that yep. we see today. Yeah. But then they're all memes now. But like, yeah. that's, yeah. And then that's what happened. Because yeah. people used to love them. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. like, oh, the Internet loves us. Let's make more videos. And then a meme page got a hold of the original video and the video that's popular right now that yeah. has like 11 million views. That's not even from the original creator. Yeah, that's from the meme page that's making fun of them. So like they just keep getting shit on. And I just wanted yeah. to give justice to the cyber goths cyber punks emo goth kids we cyber, see cyberpunks, you yeah. <laughs> we see you and you guys are a part of the rave community we and let's be you. real let's be real they were the pre uh precessor or predecessor Pre- predecessor predecessor to being the scene kids the scene kids being the punk kids the yeah. punk kids being the edm kids like yeah. you know, my ancestors like treat <laughs> When we, did the, when we did that music video for Electric, it was cyberpunk themed. Oh, so he oh. knows what's up. Yeah, he yeah. Knows. I feel like, yeah, I feel like Vince would, yeah, that's, yeah. He's he a knows. smart guy. Yeah. Yeah, but it was America that um, was shitting on them because they they had a lot of nice comments to begin with on mm-hmm. these posts from like Germany and the, yeah. and the UK. But then once America got a hold of the video, they started shitting on them for how they were dancing. Come on, America. But then here we are now dancing to heart style music the same exact way. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Sometimes right I feel like... I, I, yeah, I forgot all of the... I'm sorry, Caleb. I forgot all the steps. That would be so funny me. if like we we, cre- we create it under a freeway or like the bridge <laughs> and you just see us recreating it. Yeah, because yeah, that's what they would do. They would have meetups oh, that'd be really at the bridges. Too. Yeah, right? Like, you have a video from like a distance away of us just underneath <gasps> the bridge. Just, just doing it. <laughs> on a, oh, on a yeah. drone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a drone <laughs> flying by. Oh, <laughs> we should recreate it. That's a solid idea. That'd be so yeah. funny. That'd be yeah. funny. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, something to uh, consider. Yeah. Just things to look forward to. Yeah. I've been getting, uh, for, for me, I just want to talk about this just because I've been, we've been traveling more. Mm-hmm. And it's been really fun. So recently we went on a cabin trip, which she denied going to. Um, oh, you, you did? No, I didn't. Yeah, you get denied. You were invited. Oh. I got to <laughs> um, What do you call it? During during that cabin trip. <laughs> Next year. I had this or, con- we, yeah. we were having this conversation about like going on hikes and all this stuff. And I'm like, I don't know why, but I feel like hiking is torture in itself. <laughs> you don't like hiking? I love the views, but like the act of hiking is just torture. To me, I sweat so much and I'm just like. Yeah, that's the point. It's cardio. Yeah, but I'd rather do cardio, not go hiking. But the whole point of hiking is like be outdoors with nature while doing cardio. You get the best of both worlds. I, I, feel, like it's, I feel like it's one of those things, though, where it's like for someone that does cardio uh, consistently, yeah. they would rather hike because they don't want to like just be stuck on a treadmill yeah, and that's seeing true. the same yeah. thing. If you don't do cardio, period, then I could see how you would probably want yeah, to, it's to just, do just, it's just a, a suffering. A it's, it's suffering. Like I'm just sweating the whole time and I'm just like not happy. But what experience did you have recently to where I got you to make that statement that you hate? I, I walk down my stairs. <laughs> Not uh, indoors? <laughs> no, it's just, it's just every time I've gone hiking, like even even in, uh, uh, what, what's that place? The Golden Park Bridge, whatever. We have a park here in LA, the Observatory Park or whatever. Runyon Canyon? Uh, sure. I oh, that's in Hollywood. Observatory Park. The sounds, observatory? Yeah. yeah. The like, I, just, I just went on a hike because I wanted to go on a hike. And just to see, and I'm like, I'm done with this. And I was done within a few minutes. <laughs> but it also helps to have good company, like with, with yeah, you, know, yeah, you have to be with someone. The whole time. Yeah. Or or you have to like be used to doing it like consistently every day. If you have a dog, like that's another like nice thing to have like 
you know, yeah. another good reason to go on a hike. Yeah. Right? I used to go on dates um, while I hiked. Like my first date was mm -hmm. one of uh, a guy I used to date was actually on a hiking trail. And I was like sweating and talking at the same time. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sweaty. And he was like, no, it's okay, it's cute. And I was like, ah! <laughs> And then like with my ex-boyfriend, I used to go hiking with him all the time to the yeah. kind of observatory. So it's like, if you have a good company, yeah. it, it makes I just it feel fun. Gross the whole time. Michael, after, on the first night we were in Big Bear, yeah. hey guys, let's go for a walk. After we <laughs> just had like, we just had all this sushi. And then we get outside, it's it's snowing and it's it's, nighttime and it's cold and this man starts running and this man he's like hey guys let's just turn this into like a let's just turn this into a run <laughs> we run up the freaking hill and i and the altitude everything we're gassed yeah like we're like <sighs> michael's like this is great guys this is really <laughs> <laughs> it's that's like, so funny fuck sony man this is like <laughs> i'm good off that <laughs> yeah and then and on the way back he's like this man is not not to mention this man is in converse in the fucking snow oh. like it's like yeah were his feet not getting wet guess not i'm Man, sure they not, were. that guy's a different breed yeah if you guys <laughs> for, if you guys don't know michael sherman nature. aka sony in case, in case people didn't know we love you though in but. case people didn't know when you like go snowboarding and stuff don't just bring random clothes like you need actual snow poop oh, yeah. stuff oh, or yeah. it will freeze how do yeah. i know this you didn't know <laughs> how do i know this? what happened uh, I brought some random work gloves that I had instead of snow gloves. <laughs> and they froze. They froze on my hands. They legitimately froze. Um, and then I brought a water pouch with me because I'm like, water in oh the yeah, water bag. I'm gonna stay hydrated on top of the mountain. Froze in the like the tube. My Gen Z bag frozen, completely frozen. <laughs> Oh my god! I love that you like you you like tried so hard to be like prepared, and then it all just backfired. Meanwhile, I'm bringing a speaker and attaching it to my yeah. crossbody bag, and that worked great. Yeah, yeah but it kept it hitting you in the face. It didn't did. It? it did. But that's just because I was like getting the hang of snowboarding again. So I'm sure if I would have like, if it would have been on the third day, because the third day I. Well, actually, I, I did I'm gonna, a couple times. I really want day. us to get the there's, there's like this small speaker that you can literally clasp on yeah. your 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 thing, and yeah. it's like opens up and it's pretty yeah. darn pretty darn loud so yeah. i'm like i want one of those dude for all my snowboarders out there man like i went snow we we went snowboarding or at least i i went snowboarding <laughs> on the trip for the first time uh, since i was 21 and i forgot how much fun it dude, was yeah i'm gonna oh say my it. god i'm gonna say it and people are gonna like give me shit for it but it's better than pre-workout Oh yeah. Snowboarding. oh yeah well, the rush, it's a natural yeah, yeah the, the rush the, is the like natural adrenaline, adrenaline you get dude i uh, i didn't think i was gonna go two days in a row and yeah. the second day i ended up going again and i'm yeah. just like i went all three days yeah we're yeah. gonna go back because i didn't get a go to let's go yeah, yeah. i go couldn't have gone i couldn't have gone anyway because finals. it was literally my finals week yeah mind yeah. you this is this is literally to to rent out a snowboard get a day pass, and to rent out boots and a helmet is literally the price of a festival ticket and I went three days. Might as well get the membership, right? It's like a couple. Oh yeah, no, for yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the yeah. season passed. Oh, you went three days. You spent that much. So I, money I went on to three festivals, basically. Holy De shit! Just to, just to throw down the numbers, because I'm pretty sure I know them. He essentially paid a roughly six hundred dollars, if not yeah. more, if yeah. not more. No. Whereas more. the season pass, the season pass would have been like four hundred and thirty-five dollars. Yep. Fucked up. And then like what, sixty bucks? In I didn't know I was gonna enjoy it because I wasn't planning on going all three days. Went the first day. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going in tomorrow. When the second day, I was like, I have to go again tomorrow because I want to go down the big, like the big, big hill. Mm, yeah. And I did on the third day. And, I'm glad I'm, we and went I to, don't regret it at all. I'm glad, I'm glad we went on went. that trail that last day. Yeah. That trail was so much better. It's so much better. Summit? So fun. Yeah. Summit. Because uh, the summit, first, yeah. second day was Bear. Yeah. The first and second day, we went to uh, Big Bear, Big Bear, the Big Bear Resort. Mm. Uh, resort. Mm. Yeah. So much fun. So okay, much guys, fun. Hey, guys, I'm having FOMO. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least you were there. Let's change my finger was oh, broken. Yeah. I was alone in the cabin on the second day, or was it? Yeah, it was the second day. Probably the second day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a TikTok. Probably though. the second I didn't day. Do yeah. So. Also, Mafia was super fun when we played Mafia. Oh my God, I can't so play Mafia. I don't know how to play Mafia. Yeah. I, I don't like it. <laughs> if anyone knows how to, if anyone know, if it has ever played Mafia before, mm, so Mafia fun. overwhelms me when you have a big group. Um, I actually have a I have a topic for us though. Uh, mm. Yeah, what are you guys' New Year's resolutions? Because on the day of this of this uh podcast it will be january 1st mm. i uh i don't believe in new year's Me resolutions neither. i actually I, believe really? that yeah. i no seriously i've had this conversation with people before it, it might sound pompous but it's like the goals that i have set for myself I'm not going to give myself one year to accomplish it. Yeah. That's fair. You know what but I mean? What are some How about like setting new goals yeah. for yourself? Like, yeah. hey, this year I want to try something new and try something different to yeah. achieve on top of what I I'm already trying. I usually finish that in a month. 
then oh. you, you make more but then you, you make more because, for yourself because you should because always like be progressing long, that's what i'm saying the long-term goals that i have take a lot longer than a year but how and those are what i'm focused on and then the well, like, tell it, us what those things are and and tell us tell us if you have anything that you want to try financially stable <laughs> Yeah, that's, 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 my, that's my goal. I, I think that's my Honestly, goal. Honestly, being able to walk into any restaurant, say anyone above, and not looking at the price. <sighs> that's That still has to do with finance. What are some other things? Because I can tell you some of mine. I mean, because um, financially stable is one of mine too, but. Yeah. Um, being able to go snowboarding without having to look at the price. <laughs> <laughs> All about finances. <laughs> Friend, you tell us, what, 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 what are you, what are you? Um, the way I like to work around New Year's resolutions is I like to look back at the previous year and see where my weaknesses were and what I can now fix for the new year. Mm -hmm. So like when I look back at this past year, I realized I was very, pretty much of a homebody. Like, yeah, I met a lot of people this year, but I still, like, I kept to myself. So, like, for the new year, I do want to be, like, more open um, to conversation with people and connecting yeah. with people because mm -hmm. I do, like, close myself off. That's a good. Lot. I'm going I'm to jump off of that one, too. Because um, I remember the, the one New Year's resolution that I put on my board, my, like, vision board. Yeah. I knew I wouldn't accomplish it by the end of the year, but it was, it was a big one. And I feel like you guys can attest to whether or not it's true. It's happened. Um, I will own my power. I will own my power because I feel like at the beginning of this year, I was very insecure. I was very. Um, yeah, you've come a long way. Yeah, like I feel like I, back, uh, like I, I had a lot of like um, imposter syndrome issues, like a lot of we imposter syndrome. We should put the old videos of Nand, <laughs> like the ones that you found on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, that's not fair. That was literally that was that was literally me in acting school. You should I look know. at his Facebook page. Everyone, look at his Facebook page and look at these videos. <laughs> He has a video video yeah, where it's nerd, like, I I'm, like to learn. No, he's like, that's literally <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, I'm a nerd and I'm proud of it. <laughs> my hobby is to learn. <laughs> I think we You know what? I got I got paid for that. We love you. As you should. That was that was a script. Some of the dumb dumb things that I've had to do for for the acting gigs. Look over there. Look over here. Now look over there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, wow. Um, it's it's from uh, uh, old old spice commercial. <laughs> Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back. To Wait, you me. were in an old spice commercial? No, he was twenty one um, years old. I used. I was in a competition. Oh, I was in a, oh. so I needed to showcase it. But the you know what was funny was like everyone, everybody hated that commercial. Everyone, because all the people they'd seen it every single year. Yeah. So I was. You know what? Like I need to find a way to add an extra layer because everyone was trying to be too like macho confident i was like all yeah, right the opposite i went full silly boy like yeah. i went full silly boy and just like ripped my shirt open and rubbed my 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 pudge oh you that's know unique. like yeah. i went i went the i'm confident route instead of i'm the sexy route should have yeah. done like a nerd like looking around <laughs> i did now look at me i did i did <laughs> i did um yeah. uh so i actually did go back so that was sectionals and i did go to regionals for that one yeah so for the regional one it was not recorded um, I actually had glasses and I actually made the character super nerdy to start and uh, he would get less nerdy with every time you look back to me. Yeah, that's mm. that's funny. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, everyone go check out Nan's Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are your goals? Honestly, just to be less lazy. I've been You're very, lazy? I've been very fucking lazy. Is it like procrastination Procrastination lazy. lazy. Okay. Uh, yeah. I've been dependent a lot. I need to be more independent. Okay. Oh, I could see that one. Yeah. Yeah, just need to work more on myself. We'll help you. Just saying. <laughs> and well, money. <laughs> money. 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 Well, money. Money comes with sense, all that of it. Makes sense because you're about to gross. graduate. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I, I get, I get where you're coming from. With that like post grad is the post grad blues is a very real thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's the struggle of like finishing yeah. the structured lifestyle, stepping into a not so structured lifestyle. Oh yeah, yeah but you, I feel like you're in a pretty good spot though. Cause I just remember when I graduated college and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Bro. Like I was PAing for stuff and I hated that, mm. you know? Bro, I moved to LA. I moved to LA after yeah. I graduated. Yeah. Well, that's what I was, I was trying like, to do, but I couldn't afford to do that. And and so- bro, I, I lift drove. Yeah, so, well, so I PAed and then uh, you guys kind of know the story. I worked at an elementary school and then a high school and I was still making content, but my content didn't start doing well until, or didn't even start to like even get like anywhere remote to what it is now until like maybe 2018 when that, uh, that my first Rave Bro video blew up. Yeah. And like, even then it took a couple of years to like kind of develop a name for myself and then- yeah. Even after that, you know, 
Um, it's because yeah. it's because in 2019, someone uh, someone showed up in your life who uh, <laughs> forced you to to keep shooting content all the time. Me? You didn't force me to shoot content all the time. I forced myself to shoot content all the time. <laughs> <Don't you love laughs> <myself>. <laughs> um, but uh, while we're still on the topic of the resolutions, um, mine one of mine is to uh, start being more on time. Mm. Yeah. I'm See, I'm not there yet. I'm gonna give myself a couple years before. But come, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? You know what's funny? You know what's funny is like the way she said that too. Is just like I'm gonna give myself some time to get to better give at time. time. Yeah. See, the way I interpreted that is just like, yeah, I don't really care. I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the way it is now. Yeah, I would. I'm I, 22. <laughs> I, well, you won't be soon. So in February, mm. I'm still 23. Same. Thing. I'm 21 actually. My bad. Uh, what? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm always gonna be 21. Mm. My, every birthday, I'm 21. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I I do have a topic I do want to talk about though mm. that that might okay. like change course of like our whole career not whole career but like part of our Whoa. career. Whoa, okay. um, TikTok ban. Oh, I've heard about that. Yes. Oh yeah, it's gonna do absolutely nothing because honestly, TikTok does not like I us st- anyway. I stopped yeah. giving. I stopped caring about TikTok. I, same. Uh, See, yeah. here's the thing. TikTok makes me a lot. And TikTok, I that's where my first platform was, and it, to this day, it still works very well for me. Yeah, so like, it's gonna uh, affect me a lot. I think. Yeah. Huh? I think the way I see it is, I feel like each of us individually and this podcast as well, our our company, everything we've developed, um, brands for ourselves and whatnot. So if we lose that platform, not that big a deal. Yeah. Um. There's other platforms, and yeah. you know how things are. Everything comes in waves. We've talked mm-hmm. about this. Yep. TikTok might disappear. It might get mm-hmm. banned. But then something else will replace it eventually. Yeah, yeah. it's just crazy. And, it and only, the thing is, Instagram's not going anywhere. Oh yeah, it will only. Everyone, it everyone always only, thinks it will. It was only popular for what, like three years. That's that's what, why TikTok or Instagram. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. TikTok. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think yeah, it's it's smart to to branch yourself out onto oh, platforms sure. that have sustainability, yeah. like YouTube, like Instagram, mm-hmm. even even I mean. I, I hate to say it, but even Facebook. Yeah, no, that goes for every creator. You know, like, like you should dude, have honestly, different forms of not platforms. just that. Like I started a Pinterest the other day. Like Pinterest is another one. Mm, that's like true. It, yeah. it's yeah. there. Yeah, Snapchat's been around still for mm-hmm. a long time. How is Snapchat still relevant? I know that's that's what I'm confused about. I wonder the same thing. Younger audience. That pop. Hey yo, do, do you have a Snapchat? Can I get your Snapchat? Yeah, I've seen someone say that. Yeah. Like, yo, do you guys used to have streaks on Snapchat? Or like, yeah. in yeah. the past? Yeah, yeah. 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 But to be honest, I only ever, I really only ever used Snapchat in college or when I had a girlfriend. Mm. And oh yeah, Zazzo. me too. Or, yeah, if like if I'm if I'm like dating someone, I like will use We're, it just oh. like to talk with okay. them. Okay, I was in eighth grade at the time that it was popular. Eighth grade, middle school, freshman year. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was in. I was in. Yeah, high, well, high school is when it for us. High school is when it started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. End but of then, high school, but it kept going through college. Yeah, it kept going through college. It was around the same time as Vine. Yeah, I got some embarrassing memories on mine still. Do you still use it though to like to take memes? To save yes, memes? actually, I do I sometimes. I do. I just use Instagram for that because Instagram has the same thing. Doesn't yeah. really? Yeah, Instagram has an archive. It yeah. archives all your. You st- can check your archive. Uh, it archives it all your stories. It shows it in a calendar view too, so you can yeah. see everything. But like on Snapchat, you could just save it under save your memories, memories versus posting it yeah. on Instagram. You have to post it to save it as a memory. Oh, you yeah. can't just save it as a memory. Yeah. I mean, at the same time, like I'm okay with that because, yeah. like, I don't really. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just have it post it then. No, I love Snapchats and looking back and watching me cry in the past because, like, I'll just like cry to my Snapchat. <laughs> and- oh yeah, no, I have. I I will say I have a hidden folder within my phone for uh, have you crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Remember 2020 when I got my heart broken. <laughs> I no, I'm not kidding. I literally I could see it. I put a camera and I recorded I can, myself I and was like talking to future Nand to like to like I I, I need, did the same thing. I needed okay. that therapy. I'm not it's gonna okay. lie to you. I did the same thing. I was crying, oh. I was drunk. I was like, Brenda, don't ever go back to him. I'm telling you right now, if you see this next year, what I do, I went back to him. But then like I did it again. Like I did the same thing. I was like, Brenda, I'm telling you right now, don't go back to him. Like it's cool to have those videos. Absolutely. For sure. I, Absolutely. I'm not gonna act like I've I haven't I, I mean I haven't done that. I've definitely written like I've written like to notes. myself. Yeah, I've written yeah. to myself, but I, I've never I recorded record, a video. I, you know you know what's funny? My 67 year old mother is the one who told me to do it. Um, I just feel like I would cringe it's a, it's a so hard. That's the whole like, point. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah, no one's gonna see it, but honestly, you. But honestly, I know the that, thing is, is I already know I would cringe to it. So it's like to me, the that form 
would not be effective like for me. well that's the that's thing fair. that's the yeah, thing yeah, it's yeah. like i'm not looking back to it so that i don't feel cringe i look back to it now because i've watched it and i'm like yeah. damn i've come far yeah that's yeah. it that's or, a good no, or that's, it's that's, that's like i don't want to be back there that's so valid. why am i gonna yeah. make those decisions that's that's it's like, i look back and then when i think and i'm like i used to think like that mm-hmm. yeah yeah. Like oh yeah, honey, let me not think like baby, that again. You you have a lot to learn, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody oh, else. someone else. asked um how to headbang properly because this girl Ooh. like uh hurt herself like her neck or something. Do okay. I honestly I would I would personally like if someone's legitimately asking I I'm gonna go do research first because I know how I keep myself from hurting myself, but there might actually be a legit. You could just say it like that though. Yeah. Okay. I, there's okay. there's well, gonna can, be a, a certified well, article. Yeah, well, yes. The reason why her neck hurts is because she's actually head making. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a head thing head. with their lower you, yeah, back, exactly. their body. You have, yeah. That's why we body. always say my back hurts is because you're you're yeah. head banging with your back. Yeah. It's yeah. better than your neck. And then you just yeah. throw some neck head bangs in there once in a while. Or like, like, like head bang like this. Yeah. yeah. Like, you don't sometimes, have to go sometimes when I see people like do like a head bang and you could see them like their neck flicking back and forth. Like oh honey, fucking hurt tomorrow. Like oh honey, stop, stop. Yeah. Um, we never talked about the FDA. What am I going to title things? this? <laughs> oh, that's for the food. Chaos. Party no, I'm going to title it We Need Money. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money. <laughs> Girl, I'm sweating. I'm hungry. See, okay, yeah, I'm hungry too. Too. I, I really hope food. After. Yeah, I'm so food. down for food. Please. I hope that everybody knows that we're like, you know, we're not doing a cash grab. We're just joking when we all make these money jokes because, you know, jokes. Are we joking? No, no. He, like, <laughs> comedy, comedy comes from pain. Yeah. <laughs> Any uh, sugar mommy, sugar daddies want to get in the rest of our three, three um DMs? <laughs> don't oh. uh, don't take sugar mamas and sugar daddies as a joke because they're a real thing and they're no, a I real know. deal. I know you have I to be ready joking. to to put that time and effort into another person because yep. they're not just a money they're not just a money tree. They're real people who are just willing to spend their money. On yeah, you. You, you I think, had a roommate. In, you think in I college. grew? You think I grew all this facial hair and started this villain era of my life without without committing? Like having a full on date conversation with people and build, making a connection with someone else. Like that's what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah. I was an assistant director. I can talk to people all day long. Trust me. <laughs> I think you can just You're talk to people actor. all day yeah. long in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had a roommate in college who uh, had a he, he had a sugar daddy. Also. Is he it who I think it is? Daddy? Yeah, well, he's gay. He's gay. Uh-huh. Is it who I think it is? You you don't know him. It's not. No, it's not. Was not he on big? seeking it's not, arrangements? It's not Abe. No. Was he on seeking arrangements or he? I just don't know what them? he was on. Uh, he was just yeah. He would just do it. He's been doing. Sure. <laughs> no, seeking arrangements is the is the safest site to, to yeah. be on. Yeah. But there's other sites. This was also in San Diego. So But all the other sites are the ones that don't have money because they're all free to, to join. Seeking arrangements you have to pay per month to join uh, as a sugar daddy. So these people are actually paying to speak to wow. women to pay for them. Yeah. yeah. That's don't crazy. Give me any idea. <laughs> yeah. um since we're talking about it though if you're gonna do it just be fucking safe about it and don't be and don't go out and meet people um that's not in public and just do your research yeah. before you meet them in public don't do anything you're, you're not yeah. comfortable with like really do your research yeah. yeah yeah even if you're on these sites and these people are um verified you never know what they're capable of like they, they oh could, yeah 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 it's like these people on dating apps who who catfish people you know, mm. like it's literally, oh, it's literally show like another, yeah, yeah. It's a funny show. Did I watch religiously? <laughs> catfish? Yeah, back then. Wow, I loved it. That's funny. Um, what were you gonna talk about again? Subtronic. Oh yeah, oh, his new album. Oh yeah, so I'm, like, the, the biggest the VIP. Fan. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Like this album is so fucking good. And literally, I was in my car, and every time a song played, I was like, "Whoa!" Like, it was like I was actually at a festival, you know, and you li- and like, uh, yeah. and, and, like uh, uh, someone remixes a new song, and yeah. like you never heard a drop before, and you have like that whoa mo- moment. That was me in the car on my way to Nan's place, actually. And so like I lowered <laughs> down my windows and I blasted it for everyone in the fucking traffic yeah. world to see. Oh it was, my, it's a it's a it's a crazy ass album. Man, I'm literally for Subtronics to be on. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Someone commented that on one of my videos. There were like some tronics, some tronics, some tronics. We'll get them on. Yeah. We'll get them on. Come on. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know he likes you, so <laughs> he likes I'm everyone. No, he likes everyone. Level up too, if you want to come. <laughs> yeah, we love Level Up. She's amazing, cutie. Yeah. Yeah. That album is yeah is pretty. I've been listening to the Virtual Riot remix of Space Time. 
Yeah. Mm. Ton. Yeah. Love There's a Val. Tech House remix too. Have you guys heard that one? What does oh. VIP mean again? Variation, Variation in, in production. production. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, Tyler told me that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's just basically when a DJ puts a new style into his uh, his song. It's just like another version of a song. Yeah. And it's yeah. one of the best versions because mm. it, it's like you've heard the song before, but now you're hear, hearing it in a different way. So yeah. it's like, wow. Yeah, I never that is I could pretty hear cool, actually. Honestly, <laughs> that's kind of like, that's kind of like any artist that goes up there and they like fuck it up. They make mistakes, but we're all like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. He's ad libbing. He's improving. Records the whole thing. I guess I got a VIP now. <laughs> That was yeah. was that was one of the jokes you made on the Subtronics video. Actually, was uh, that bumpy teeth VIP though? We're gonna sit in the car and blast bumpy teeth VIP until our brains rot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And now there's bumpy teeth VIP. Like there's another oh, yeah. one on that. No, there's the, another one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, so this funny. is the, the time where I wish we could freaking play music because I want to listen to something yeah. right now. Well, yeah, well Subtronics, up. if you want to come on the podcast, we would <laughs> love to play your music for We're you. We're just casting on him right now. <laughs> 2023 manifest. We'll give you a. a I, don't, I don't. Fuck. I don't know what he's called. got. So we'll many give shows you that gift right that you now. do that you do this. You know the, 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 the pajama. No kodama. Kodama. The kodama. Yeah. kodama. Kajama. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Kajama. Yeah. 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 We will. Uh, we'll. We'll make another video on you. <laughs> we'll have you in a video. We'll, whatever you want, man. Oh, you know Arctic is opening up for him for um. Arctic. Arctic. Yeah. For Ooh. January. Yeah. Yeah. He DM me. Oh yeah. 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 When is that? Um, the twenty eighth, I think. It's at the the Ingle, it's in Inglewood at the forums, I think. Oh. That's where he's performing. Yeah. But so then oh, that's in January, huh? Mm-hmm. That way that makes sense because he's gonna be around here because he's performing at time on the twenty seventh. Yeah. So oh mm-hmm. I may okay. Yeah. I see. Oh, he's in town that week. <laughs> <clears throat> Do you wanna message you wanna message him? <laughs> I mean, he follows you. We're pressing on him too much. Yeah. If you want to. He fo- Is you good there? Uh, oh, yeah. But back to the album. Have you guys, like, listened to the entire thing? Or, like, no, I haven't. Parts of it. Parts to, of yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I freaking love the tracks, too. Dude. Have you heard get the gassed up one? Yeah. Do you want to just take a second to readjust it? We could just we we could just cut it. All right, cutting. What is happening right now? I'm not gonna lie, this 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 kind of works. We're not hearing. Any I'm not doing jingles. that the whole episode though. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not I saying we like- do. I'm just saying right now it's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fixing my hair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm yeah. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Okay. Uh, let's. We should probably wrap it up. Wrap it soon. up with yeah. the yeah. Uh, upcoming events or shit. Oh yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so what, what, uh, what upcoming events or in are January you, or in January? That... Subtronics, baby. I'll be at Subtronics at the forum. And then also, uh-huh. uh, we have like a three day weekend for you for your birthday. Oh yeah. We're going to Wasteland for one day and then we're going to Skyline, Skyline. on the 25th, which is my birthday Holy shit. and then the 26th. So we have ticket links if you guys want to use any of our tickets, but it, <laughs> it is my birthday for Skyline. So if you want to support the birthday use her. festival, but like I, you guys could use Wasteland for theirs, you know, like, <laughs> But we'll be uh, there. Um, <laughs> are there any other festivals in January? Uh, no, there know. are shows. Well, but you, Countdown. You guys are going to Countdown. <laughs> yeah, but by the time oh, this yeah. comes out. This will literally be the weekend of Countdown. Uh, oh, so yeah. Everyone's going to be hung over right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, this. I'll be in. I think like, Trick is also playing uh, tonight at the time of this recording. He's mm. playing tonight. He uh, He's opening for BTSM, mm. which I know he, uh, BTS- he invited us to. I thought BTSM alive on the 1st. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'll be going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah he yeah. means he means later, not oh, like, yeah, not yeah, like yeah. today. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, he he messaged me about it, and I'm like, okay, hopefully I'm not too hungover. But from On the countdown, first? and he's like, he's like, ah. Uh, all my friends are gonna be hungover. Yeah, no, I'm just no, like, no, okay, we'll try to make it, Vince. No, Wait, on the first. On the first. No, we're gonna go Sunday. We're gonna go. <sighs> we're gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> um, because if we don't go, then I'm gonna have to drive separate to Temecula because I'm I'm leaving in midday of the first because I'm gonna go with Yevi <clears throat> to BTSM. So if you guys uh, don't go, then I will have to drive separate. Okay. So we're going. It's yeah. Tomorrow, sorry. All right. Watch okay. them go. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to go. I wanted to go support. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. I absolutely wanted to go anyway, but like, yeah. just support. It just means I'm not gonna go as hard on Saturday now. No, I'm still going hard. Yeah. Yeah. What you, mean? Yeah. Yeah. you do you. You do you. I, there's a reason I am always the one who's alive. 
Yeah, I'm just like drunk by it. It's New Year's. It's a year of drunk, <laughs> drunkness. Yeah, I'm only drinking. It's the year of drunkness. Yeah, I'm only going to drink. I you said it was the year of money. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you gotta pick yeah. one. Okay, being drunk I means be, money. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, because when I'm drunk, you I need talk money more to and be being people. drunk. Being drunk on money. <laughs> ah, there you go. Being there. drunk while making money. Yeah, I like that one better. <laughs> that? This makes know. me feel so greedy, but also at the same time, it's just like once you once you do stuff, you learn everything costs money. Yeah, I think that's just or, called being an adult. Being, <laughs> being, uh, being alive, being adulting. human, being alive, yeah. costs yeah. money. I used to make this joke all the time. I have to pay money just to see. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I have contacts. Here, Women have to pay money just to bleed. To bleed? <laughs> <laughs> to function in society these days, you just got to pay money for everything. Did you see the comment that someone was like, Bryn, why don't you just... <laughs> Why don't you just cut your tampon string? Because I had made the comment of like, I have to tuck my tampon in my pussy. And someone commented that I should just cut my tampon string. But it's like, dude, I'm going to get scared that it's going to get stuck because I have trauma that my um, tampon has gotten You'll stuck. you get the toxic syndrome thing. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't want it to get stuck in there. My guy, the string is there for a reason. You cut that thing short, then there's a, no string. I think string. it was a girl. My gal, the <laughs> string's there for a reason. I just get paranoid. That's why I don't cut the string. Because I don't want it to like end up that. Toxicity poisoning? That's what it was called, right? Like some Tox kind of Toxic. Do you know I what know that is? I know nothing toxic about this. Do you know what that is? <laughs> what is it? I, just, I don't remember at this moment, but I learned it when I was studying it in college. Uh, it's yeah. just when you leave a tampon in for too long. Because the blood, You right? could die. Yeah. yeah. It's because of the blood, right? Yeah. Yeah, it gets infected it, in because the, yeah. uh, once once blood. Wait, why are we talking about this? Wait. <laughs> so, no, I'm, I'm gonna say anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> once once blood hits air, it gets oxygenated, and technically, it's actually not good for you anymore. Oxidized. Yeah. Oxidized. Sorry. Yeah. So, do you guys like, know the difference between a tampon and a pad? I do. No. <gasps> <gasps> really? Are you serious? Wait, seriously? Have you not had like a girlfriend who was on a period and was like, "Hey, babe, can you get me a tampon from the from the store?" No. Really? They've never at once asked me. Hey, babe, can you get so, a tampon for my backpack? To, welcome to lessons. Um, um, tampon you insert. Uh huh. Pad oh, you put that. onto your underwear, so it's a flat surface uh, that you put onto your underwear. You know what? Thank you, Nan, for knowing that. Yeah, it's actually really. I didn't know that there were because I've seen this TikTok about a girl asking men um on the street if they know like what a tampon or a pad was. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know, so it's like I didn't know that you wouldn't. Know. Well, I, I just, I mean, I'm not like out seeking like this knowledge. I, I to generally <laughs> unless I needed it, not, but not like and I'm, clearly now I you never. Know, okay? Yeah, now I know. Yeah, I, I studied. I studied a lot of this in college because i actually wanted to be a sex therapist yeah oh. so i have a like i have a vast understanding of the the female body and the male body and yeah. reproductive all that shit and also i was the guy in high school who had a box of tampons in my car for yeah. any girl who <gasps> happened to forget yeah. but that only lasted like two months because no one would ever like if you're gonna use one of the tampons in my car you need to bring one from home yeah or i'm gonna have to buy more and i am a high school student that's i don't have money so sweet of you to think of that at a high school age yeah because i'm that, not the one bleeding out of my orifices you are yeah but like not a lot of people are gonna think that not yeah. a lot of men are gonna think that yeah like the fact that you even thought about keeping it in your car is very fucking sweet because like it happens a lot where like we just start bleeding and out we don't, of nowhere out of nowhere and we're early like that's, that's what happened at a um, big bear like I'm, i just can i can bleeding. i tell you guys a funny story this is one of my friends literally we were at a hotel for a festival and uh we're like you know getting ready all that and she just stops like literally like walking toward the somewhere and just stops and like damn it my period has started like literally she just, just stops where she's standing it feels it happening <laughs> it's so fucking it's miserable like your water breaking to have, <laughs> yeah. it's so fucking miserable to have it during a festival i'm miserable every fucking time dude yeah. Like imagine you being in the fucking crowd and you feel it and you're just. It's oh, okay. Shit. Last year at Countdown, I was sitting on someone's lap <gasps> and I got up and there was blood. <laughs> I, uh, I wonder. I wonder what happened to those pants. I uh, I wonder what happened to those pants. <laughs> Let me just say, Those dish, dishwashing soap and cold water works very well. <laughs> and keep in mind, th these were white. These were white pants. These were white young LA joggers. <laughs> Dude, I, I remember that entire situation because I remember so you getting out the car, and I was the driver. Man, I looked at his leg. Pointed it out. I looked at your leg. I'm like, 
uh, <laughs> and, then I, and then I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't even know how to react in that way. Honestly, moment. and you know, it's, you, don't, you is, just laughed it off and no, you're like, okay, honestly, okay, dish soap and cold water. You shouldn't be fucking embarrassed about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I didn't, no, it happens. Happens. and I didn't yeah. think it was. I didn't. I didn't think it was a. I was just like, oh, honestly, yeah, it honestly, it, it, yeah. it was like it was like a spot. It was like a spotty, yeah. so it looked like it looked like chocolate. And it stain came anyway. out. And it came out pretty easily, actually. So. Yeah, no, so, your yeah. reaction made me feel better. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, not a big oh, deal. Okay. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, now, happens. if you were like pooling, yeah, uh, that's a different. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was like yeah. if I was like fifteen, I'd be like, yeah, oh my god, a grown ass man, like you, yeah. 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 Damn. Keep bleeding. Keep bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> keep bleeding. Keep bleeding. It's actually keep just a euphemism for a period. <laughs> God. So this is Who sings that song again? I it's, don't know. It's I just remember um, from a movie. Uh, is it what? Barella's? Sarah? I, I just no, remember it not. from No Strings Attached. The, there was a scene where like, keep bleeding. What's your just name? Just keep like, bleeding. Yeah, yeah, let's get a bottle of you now, huh? Yeah. 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 Have keep you guys watched bleeding. Midsummer? No. Oh, it's, I heard that movie is insane. Oh, it's a really good oh, yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, but is it psych- psychological? Leona Lewis. Um, have you seen? Leona Lewis. Uh, what's it? It's the one that a uh, Nicholas Cage is in. Which the which, not the Witching Hour though. I don't know, but it's a it's a movie about like religion and yeah. like I just know it's somebody like gets it's like yeah. very, it's very culty. culty. There's culty. some sacrifices uh, by the end. Oh, I actually I always hear it's good, but I never watched it. Oh no, you should watch. It. Oh, I heard, yeah, I heard it's, it's insane. Good. I heard yeah. it's insanely good. Yeah, well, there's a part in in the movie where it shows that how um like that they use period blood to um, to get men to fall in love with them yeah <laughs> is that where you is that where you got the oh my god Wait, don't where d- i got the what oh yeah <laughs> Bryn told me that if Bryn told me that if you have if you have sex with someone like a girl on their period it makes them more attracted to you or something it's like a myth that. It's, it's a, a myth man. that they got from Midsummer. I didn't know Midsummer. you got it from that freaking no, 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 movie. No, 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 I didn't get it from the movie. No, I got it from a video that said it was a myth, and that's where the movie got it from. Uh, that it's a religion, like it's an actual sacrifice. Like it's a thing that's in that religion. I mean, I mean, it see. could make sense if like pheromones are involved, yeah. but like that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And on that note, <laughs> period. <laughs> <time>. <laughs> period. 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 <laughs> period. Like, and uh, let's end that note. Period. Period. <laughs> All right. Um, well, Nan, why don't you? You might as well close this off. I just you noticed your little snowman is. Oh yeah, look at the little. Look at the... Is it? <laughs> it kind of looks. It kind of looks a little funny. It looks like you have three pointy, super pointy nipples. Uh, just low. Just chilling, chilling with. Chilling with my homies. Some, or chilling some, with my buds. Some mini wiener. <laughs> some um, carrot wiener. Buds. <laughs> <laughs> so it's time we wrap it up, or we're actually going to get kicked out again because it is 524 yeah, and we do got to wrap all these things up. So thank you for uh, tuning in to I'm Peaking Podcast, episode 10. This one's been really fun. You always say I'm I'm Peaking instead of the I'm Peaking Podcast. You always say thank you for tuning in to I'm Peaking Podcast. Yeah. I like so how you notice that. Purpose. Peaking podcast. How did, no, it's on oh. purpose. Why do you notice that? Like, I don't know. I just, it's completely on purpose. I'm peaking podcast. <laughs> you, you know how I am with yeah. grammar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't grammar what police. Is the, what is he the, is what, grammar what, police. Just, no, no, no. What is like? What is the name of our, our company and our podcast? It's I'm peaking entertainment. I'm peaking podcast. I don't need to say the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have, yeah you're just with the grammar. It just Plus, it's funnier weird. because it's like, well, like, thank you for watching. I'm peaking. Thank you for watching. I'm peaking podcast. Yeah, I'm hungry. Just, just, just. <laughs> get food. Let's get food. Anyways, thank you for uh, once again. Thank you for tuning into I'm Peaking Podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Bryn. I'm Nand. Mickey. Devin. Um, see you next year. <laughs> see it. No, no. It's today is next year already. No, no. This year is next year. See today you this year. That last year. Oh wait, are you posting this on the first? Last yes, yes that's what I said. See and next you, month is yesterday. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, and two weeks ago. Oh yeah, we'll be having a very special guest on uh, in two weeks. Uh, one of our one of our good friends. Um, and you'll see. It. Big big YouTuber. Mm. Yeah, you see him. You'll see. Him. Yeah. For anyone who's in Asia, who's like three to ten hours behind, um, see you next year. <laughs> That's fair. It's a dad joke. Okay, just let me have this. <laughs> let us know if you want us to do Patreon, IG subs, subscribe, mm, like, money, comment money, on, the, on the video. <laughs> And like uh, we need subscriptions, the support. things like that. Honestly, yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 just what it is. We're yeah. 
like we want to do these things for you, but we yeah. need the support. Studio editing, all or costs money. Or if there's specific Paying merch that you would that you would buy and that you would want, like whether to t-shirt, oh, shorts, yeah. or like pashmina hats, something that you feel like you would use and you would buy, let us know. Yeah, yeah. we like, have like, like we that. talked about earlier in the podcast. 2023 is going to be a big year for us. So help have us, a lot of help us grow. Planned. We want to do all these things and we want to expand and grow, but we yeah. need your help. Yep. Okay, love you. Bye. Love, love you guys you so much. Bye bye.